George kept reminding him. All right, here it is, boys. It's Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, I'm going to have this whole review of this one lot. 11 paintings of art objects I've done. I'm ready to get rid of them. I'm going to go through each one of them right now. Well, I have the time. Check it out. It's an original piece on, on paper here. Poster paper that depicts Red, you're going to fuck the chicken. And he says, his little grandpa says, fuck that chicken. All these girls are all cheering on, fuck the chicken. And Red's up against the jolly chimp on this one. He's saying, who's going to fuck the chicken the fastest, Red? There it is. That one is, that's a beaut right there. So yeah, you can have that frame put in somewhere. That's number one. And also, I'm going to include, look, check this out. See all these photos? I'm making a little book of all the photos. They're going to be in a little, like a little mini book that's going to go with this lot. So it'll be, it'll encapsulate the entire set, you know, in case of, hell, if, you know, for 200 bucks, that's what 11 of these things go for. I'm only getting 15 bucks a piece for them. That's ridiculous, you know. It's way below market value. Now, you could probably sell one of those guys, make 50 bucks, I don't know, maybe, there's a couple of them you could maybe make 50, I guess three or four, like you, you can get your money back if you try to resell them. I don't know if you could get your money back on this one, but let's just throw it in there. It's called Old Red's. Old Red's got a donkey from Bogart, Bogart, Georgia. See, he says, check it out. Red has an, an ass. Bale of hay. Here's old. <laughs> I don't know if you can sell that one, but that's number two. Let's see here. Here's number two. Now, these are just little things on paper. Now, here, look at Check this out. A little portrait of Red. And it says, I want, I want someone to give me a hug. What used to be written there, see? There it is. Now that, you know, that could just be for your own personal. If you're a big red mud collector, you might want to have one of Chicken George's original portraits of him. It's in a little gilded frame. You know, it's like this little weird... I think this thing came from Japan, this paper did. It's a rare, it's a rare piece. There's that one. Hell, for 200 bucks? Okay, that could cut the... So basically what I'm doing is I'm grabbing all the guys from this wall here. I don't know if y'all saw this wall. It's kind of kind of dark. I'm grabbing these walls. I'm bringing here. My battery's running low. So hopefully, I have enough. Have enough to do this. Gets these canvases. There's things short practically. Someone gained a whole roll of canvases at one time. It's an old painting from somebody else. Man, it painting over a lot of them. I just gotta stretch, keep them stretched out because the cold weather will like make it all crackling and shit. So, and this one here is a. Uh, I mean. For two hundred dollars, you could have that one framed up, and it'd be some kind of mystery painting, sitting in your office somewhere or in your apartment. What does it mean? You got this little red mud character here, hater, the little Bosco devil. You got the bears, the golden key. He's got them locked in that thing here, and then look at the bears got red. <laughs> the black bears gonna come and get red, and that's his time right there. See, he's got that, he's got that jolly chimp outfit on. If y'all can notice that. You got that clock right there. This is another classic. I think I've made several videos about this. I'm debating about putting a DVD together because I'm having trouble trying to burn DVDs. The only is I just found this in the refrigerator. Someone bought this and left it. Oh, Michelob Bolter is a chick beer. It's a chick beer, so. That was number four. Here's number five. It's right here. Let me staple it good. Number five, and this one is another one of those black bears. I, yeah, you know, I originally had it with the black bear with Boink and the monkey, but it's just sort of these vague thing. And the only problem with this is it's got cracks on it right here. It's chipping. It was rolled up at one time, but that'll be a problem you guys have to solve if you really want to preserve it and pay someone to preserve this thing. There's, this is a good one right here. Check it out, guys. Two guys argue over the two-headed cobra. That was one of my original ideas, the two-headed cobra. Two-headed rattlesnake cobra. Yeah. And there's this one here, which I I like this theme a lot. This is another Bosco, Bosco accredited, um, another Bosco accredited theme. You know, there it is. Scarecrow killer with the devils. 
a guy, a jolly chump, he's like a clapping along, another red mud guy. Now this one I actually sold. You know, I said I, I sold one from the whole lot, the red mud lot or whatever it was. And this jackass, some dude said, oh, I want that, I want that. I'll give you a call. And I gave him my phone, they were calling me up, time went on. It was an older guy too. He thought this was a right. This is actually a good, I like this. Let's give you one of my few Haitian inspired paintings. You know, the chicken here with a knife is inspired by one of Red Mud's pieces right here. I did a copy of it. You guys can see it. So yeah, here's another inspired version of that. Chicken with knife. I think it's a good one. I like this one. And so this guy wanted to buy it. He kept on jack with him. And eventually I just told this old man, you know, someone who's known in the community, he was just, I could, if they don't, if they say they want to buy and they just fuck around, they keep procrastinating or they keep playing games with you, I just told him he's not a serious buyer. You're not, just get the fuck, leave me alone. Get out of here. And then there's this one right here. This was the first one of the whole Red Mud Texas lot. The John Chimp was kind of a guy smoking, I don't know, you know, more of a totem kind of thing. My original idea is throwing daggers at no wait, what was it? Throwing darts at flies. Of course you don't even know there's a dart in here, so we can go for this. I think I ran it. And last but not least, the snake. The snake holder. Let's put this guy right here. That's eleven paintings. There's some real Ugh. Red Mud, Texas, 11 paintings. It's gonna come in this little book and I feel like I got this cardboard, this is hilarious right here, look. That's good, and that's a good, that's a curve of the thing. Two trash cans with bonus toilet brush. And we'll put all this stuff in here with some paper. But yeah, it's gonna be 11 works for sale. That's a deal, it's 15 bucks a piece. I just, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna mail them flat because if they get any more, I mean, you can see the condition of them. They're already, they're definitely getting cracks because it's, like, it's cold here in the, this old paint but hell that's just the way it is as sold as is all right folks red mud texas there's two pages of this Gets and boring. i would fucking close it and i would stop reading because i would be like you know what i get this whole weirdness i can't read your handwriting shit but this is insulting my intelligence because it's two really hideous pieces in a row that don't speak to me so that's like and really speak about you